Hey, Bob, how are you? Hi, Adrian. Listen, Bob, I'm trying to figure out how excited should we be about this? Well, we should be excited that it's another step in the right direction towards fusion energy. So they've, they've <laughs> had fusion reactions before, but they've only been able to sustain them for a matter of seconds. And it's always taken more energy to put into it to get than they get out of the fusion. They finally broke even. They got more out than they put in, but they still have more steps to go before we get to... Uh, fusion producing electricity. Fusion is different from the kind of nuclear reactions that we're used to. I have a little model of a, a nucleus here. If you hit these big, uh, these big nuclei the right way, they'll split. That releases energy. But the problem is that these pieces are radioactive, and that's the radioactive waste that's left over that we have to deal with. That's splitting it out. Fusion causes atoms to fuse together, but in that process, there's a piece left over a neutron that goes flying off at high energy, and that's what we capture. 